and he's got wood. What's going on guys? Aaron here, Empire Toys 1138. We've got Dan in the hot seat again. We've got Andy uh, back there. That's, that's, that's the real hot seat. That's the real, he is hanging like a... How, how many hours How many hours sleep have you had, Andy, in minutes? I can't do that. I've had about two hours sleep. That's 120 minutes sleep. 120 hours. hours. Mate, he's, but he's a trooper, he's here. Do you remember the days we used to go up to the NEC after like being in the fighting cops? Yeah, <laughs> no, oh, yeah, no. I'm having flashbacks to that, to be fair. That's <laughs> right. A couple of uh, breakfast bath and a uh, coffee will sort your rights out. So <laughs> we're, toys, toys, toys. So we're on our way to Enfield, to the Enfield Toy Fair, Cruise Hill, whatever they want to call it, run by the London Toy Shop. Looking forward to it. There's an all-star selling lineup. It's, like, it's, it's stacked. We're mainly going to annoy our friend Rai, Rai's, Rai's toys and stuff, but Ken from Back to the Toys is going to be there. Toy Scav Paul's going to be there. V-Man Vintage. Shot. Tom Pizarro, out of the attic, out of the attic, um, Foley's, uh, just loads of really, really yeah. cool people. And then also you got the London Toy Shop's little stall shop there, which we're going to check out. And the cafe. And the cafe for a breakfast bat. Have you noticed all our toy fairs all seem to run around? Revolve, revolve around breakfast. breakfast yeah. yeah. So we're going to go enjoy the show and hopefully uh, do some buying. And if we actually do find something, maybe we should do like a twenty-pound challenge on Wednesday night. It's been a while since yeah, we've yeah. all been together, so yeah, let's do it. And you sit back there. I feel yeah. like. Whatever we do, I'm going to lose, but I'm up for the challenge. Let's go. That's right. Bag eggs, like £20 bag eggs bunch. 50 yeah. figures in a bag. Yeah. It's coming up. You know it after saying that. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Like, subscribe and all that jazz, and we will see you at the end. So me and Andy are over at V-Man Vintage here. And what are you looking at, man? Uh, looking at the laser beast in the bottom right corner. Very nice. So your, uh, three, uh, and what are you thinking? You thinking of going for it? The I think I might do. Might, yeah. have a, might have a little... Get a little close-up? Yeah. Yeah. Get a little DSs. look? Yeah. Let's have a little look. So what one is it? Well, I never going to crucify me. I think, yeah, pretty sure it's Fennec. Battle Fennec. Battle Fennec. What is he, like a fox or something? Yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I don't know if you can pick that up on there, but he's got a nice wood. Oh, yeah, nice no, on wood, there. Wood emblem. That's amazing. Don't know which one, I can't remember what Wayne is at home, but if the price is right, then because I don't see these this often, or I'd never seen them at a show, I might, might pick it up. And he's got wood. <laughs> So hiding out the back in Kevin's shop, I have found some Halo 2 Jackals from Joyrider Studios. Now these were like the first Halo figures that came out. So this is from the second game. I love how chunky these are. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll have seen me pick up a few uh, of these guys loose, but uh, I don't have any boxed. Uh, to be honest, I'm not too interested in them being boxed, actually. I do want them to be loose. You've got the uh, Master Chief and Flood there. You've got the Heretic Grunt and Elite Leader. And then you've got the Jackal there from this series. They are a nice figure. Very hard to come by back in the day, but it's uh, cool to see them. And the fact that he's got two of them here, I wonder if he'll do like a deal. I wonder if I can get Rye involved in this as well. Got some uh, big boy Star Wars figures, last 17 in Kevin's shop here. It's nice to see. We got some uh, vintage, uh, and we got some vintage Star Wars figures, normal ones here. Nice little palatoy display at the back there. But look at this down here. We've got a Death Star playset here. That's pretty cool. Real nice piece. The cardboard's there. It's got plastic. I think it's obviously missing the dome bit that goes on top of that. Yeah, it's still cool. Down here we've got the transport. Tauntaun. Yeah, some really nice uh, vintage bits in his shop. Right, so I'm here with Rupert, who half 
Hello. runs the London Toy Shop and the, TF, the toy fair that we're at. We do indeed, this is our January sale, so we're having a good day. It is, Fantastic. really busy out there as well. Busy and pumping, this is how we like it. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Now, I did show earlier on in the video that he had a couple of Halo figures there. I've managed to find a Master Chief as well. So I'm hoping though, they'll cut me a nice sweet little deal on these. Always come ready to do a deal, yeah. Deal Especially on our sale day, fantastic. Sale day. So you've got these two and the two jackals down there. Yeah. Oh, uh, what do they total? So they total 100. 100 uh, so, best I'm we can do. I like you. Yeah. I'll deal with a smile. Yeah. And see what you say. Go on then. Do it for 60, 20 each, and a smile. Well, the smile wins, doesn't it? So, okay, we'll do it. We, we'll go 60. 60 quid? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. See, so come down here, there's cracking deals to be had, and a uh, really great shop, and a really great fair as well. And also, the cap over there is amazing. So, make sure you get a breakfast when you're down here. It's not wrong there. Fantastic. This is just a massive tub of kaiju. Kaiju heaven. It's got a cool one. Now I couldn't tell you if this is Ultraman, Godzilla. Well, I can tell that one's Godzilla. But I couldn't tell you what are they from. But they are just cool. That one, that blue dude. Love the colour on that one. That's, that's got to be Ultraman, surely. Looks very that. Yeah, there's just loads in here. That one. That's my son. So just really cool. Got the fake Godzilla there. There's just loads of them. This is a uh, Tom Pizarro's stall. <laughs> That's a cool little guy. And uh, it's gone very kaiju heavy. And it is just full of nice bits. So make sure you uh, hit Tom up, Pizarro's pieces. If you're into your uh, Japanese monsters, kaiju and all that sort of stuff. Because as you can see here, he just has loads of cool bits. I really like the comments of that guy. Again, that's got to be old. Yeah, yeah, check him out. So we got here the uh, Jazzwares Halo 6 inch figures. So this is the multiplayer one from Halo Infinity. So it's Spartan Mark 7. To remember my Roman numerals there. And then we got Cat from Halo Reach here. It's pretty cool. Got a nice little deal on these. I only really want them for the uh, the weapons to go with my Master Chief. But happy days. So we're over at the uh, Toy Scavenger, and uh, he's got a nice G.I. Joe lot in, and he's got Croc Master here, who's a G.I. Joe I actually really like. Uh, I'm, I'm in an R over the classified version, because it just comes with this cool crocodile, but he got here, the original one here. It's got a weird like, Bane mask going on. I just love the fact that he comes with a crocodile. He's got his inner card there, and it's just a really, really cool figure. So back from the toy fair now and had a really fun morning. Now it was great hanging out with both Dan and Andy. It felt like the old days where the three of us would just drive down to these toy fairs, hang out, buy some toys and check out all our like sort of toy collecting friends. Now we had a really good breakfast joined by Dave from the Good Toys and Gary from the Toy Crusader. So it was fun having breakfast with you boys, hanging out, having a good laugh. And then all the sellers there, Rai, Paul, Tom, Ken, loads of you guys out there. It was amazing. Uh, V-Man Vintage, ah, so many wicked stalls and just so many like, such a variety from like your dinky cars, your pops, your action figures. And it was labeled as like a bargain stall. So like everything nice and cheap. And I got some absolute deals there. Uh, it was cool to see Tom Pizarro's pieces, I haven't actually seen him in a while and to see his like kaiju kind of Japanese kind of stall, it looked amazing, some really cool bits, just rummaging through like tubs of just like these kaiju that I've got no idea what they are but they're just cool. And also going in to check out uh, Kevin the toy shop, the London toy shops, 
store, it had Kevin and Rupert in there, they put on the toy fair, so it was good just walking around checking out what they have. But you're not here at the end of the video to hear me ramble on about the day, you want to see what I picked up. Now some bits I got on camera and other bits I didn't. It was labelled this toy fair as I said earlier as like a bargain bin January sale toy fair and Lee, one of the sellers there, he had some crazy deals and I just didn't get enough time to get the camera out. I had to quickly scoop up what he was selling because he had some absolute bargains. But other than that, most of it was all caught on camera. As you can probably see down here, I don't have my usual setup now. The Razor Quest, the laptop station, it's all been packed away to make room for little Ezra. So I've got all the toys uh, on the bed right now, so we'll go through them in like a first person view. And here we go, wasn't expecting to get this much stuff, but like I said, when the deals were there to be done, you can't really turn them down. So we will start off, as you saw in the video, the crazy low pull deal I did, Rupert and Kev at the London Toy Show. These amazing Joyride Studio Halo 2 figures. I got both jackals. I got Halo 1 Master Chief. Super stoked with them. I love these figures so much. They're right out of my childhood. I had this one, still got this one in my collection which I got as a kid, uh, never had any of the Covenant, so slowly picking them up, but to have these guys with the shield, it was a cracking deal on them, so super stoked about that. I also, moving over here, picked up another, beforehand, some Halo figures of Out of the Attic toys, make sure you check them out on Instagram. So these are the, these are the uh, Jazzware Halo figures. Uh, we've got Cat here from uh, Halo Reach, and then this is just like a multiplayer Spartan, I believe. But you can see like sort of in-game add-ons. So you can actually use those codes in there to add stuff to your Xbox, to your Halo Live online play. Which I haven't done with my ones yet, so I don't actually know what the accessories are. But that's still pretty cool. Uh, again, got these two for a great deal. Uh, coming over here, we've got... This was on Lee's store. It was a pound could not turn that down for a pound he was giving stuff away so this was from the snake eyes movie a uh, cool little figure couldn't really turn that down great for someone who was to open it up make some customs what not uh, over here we've got this this is the police cruiser from space precinct can't believe this was an absolute steal now it's all in there we'll get it quickly opened up to have a quick look in the box now it doesn't have this inserts with it but it's all still there so you've got the ship there looking amazing you've got these like engine bits that clip on the side you've got some landing gear these guns come out here spin around to do some shooting you can open the doors up here I'll try and do this all with one hand but if you uh open this up here you've even got this little cage thing that comes down like that to hold the bad guys when they're in prison a really really cool ship and quite a cool toy as it is uh, we've got the box here so you can sort of see there you know, all the little bits it lights up and everything and on here you've got the what it looks like and what it does you can see there there's the thing coming down to catch the bad guys it's even got a little uh, handle for it tractable flying handle for the missions where a steady hand is essential uh, electronic siren and flashing lights plus rotating laser cannons and it's a really really cool ship so i'm hoping maybe we can do some customization on that and turn it into maybe like another spaceship for mr mandalorian to fly around in catching these bounties also here on lee's store we have the stargate master master dish beast of burden uh this is cool again this is all still in its packaging so it's just really difficult trying to do it with one hand so yeah there it is on the back there and if we open him up here everything you got is all still in its plastic so super stoked about that again crazy deals on his stalls these was this is like a bargain this was mental um could not complain i also got from him these two star wars figures the only reason i got these was that he didn't have any change so to make it up to uh a round figure i just picked up these two star wars figures Roy gave me a uh, a brewski for becoming a dad and he gave us all some sort of corner shop looking uh pork crunch they look absolutely awful but also they look absolutely amazing i don't even want to look at the nutrition information on that 
So that's a wrap guys on the London Toy Fair bargain day. Really had a fun morning. It was just good to hang out with the boys and just have a nice day walking around. We are gonna be doing a 20 pound challenge. So some of this stuff will be coming into my 20 pound challenge and that'll be on Wednesday on the toy division. Now I don't know how quickly I can get this video out. So hopefully this video comes out before the toy division stream. If not, you know, congratulations whoever won. Now I do want to do a quick little shout out to Dan who went up with Mr. Johnny from Monkeys Emporium. They had like a D&D &D weekend. Uh, he brought me back this little Burger King Extreme Dinosaur. Now this was the last one I needed to complete my Burger King line on these Extreme Dinosaurs. So super happy with that. And I'm gonna have to thank Johnny for giving it to him and repay him the favor when I see him at Kempton. So cheers Dan for bringing it back and cheers Johnny for sorting that out for me. So thank you very much for watching boys and girls. Again, I really do appreciate every single one of you for watching. I'm gonna say it again, please like, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys very, very soon for some more toy hunting. Peace.